Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster Alpha 3 working on our Middle Earth themed park. Now there are some different things we're going to be doing. Uh, some uh, bad news, some good news, things like that. So I decided instead of Minas Tirith, we are going to do Helm's Deep. And I decided that because I started to build Minas Tirith and I was looking at some of the reference pictures and stuff from the movies and realizing, hey, this entire city is one is like a bunch of circles and you can't make big circles in Planet Coaster right now very easily. Like technically you can make a single wall and then rotate it very slightly over and over again. But if we're making such something on such a large scale, it would be well pretty much impossible to do that and just incredibly annoying. So I decided to go with Helm's Deep instead because this is another iconic, if not more iconic, uh, castle location from the movie. And I'm sure a lot of people are lot, maybe slightly more familiar with it than uh, uh, Minas Tirith. But anyway, going with Helm's Deep now. And then the second bit of news is I probably won't be doing the Mines of Moria underground. I recorded about an hour of an episode of me trying to build Mines of Moria because that was actually going to be this episode. And it is just terrible. It sucks building underground. It's really hard. It looks bad. It's hard to control. The path system is incredibly infuriating. And I, it just... With the, with the way the game currently is, it's pretty unfeasible to build an entire section of a large park like this underground. So we're just going to skip. I know a lot of you are disappointed saying, Oh, you can do this. Oh, you can do this. Trust me, guys. I, I built it for about an hour and was getting super pissed off and frustrated because it was just very... Annoying and difficult, so we're not going to be doing Mines of Moria, unfortunately. Oh well, life goes on. Oh, well, that just means we can spend more time on these other parts of the park. So, yeah, that's the plan. We'll probably uh, take another episode or two after this one to finish up Helm's Deep. And then move on to uh, just finishing up the park. We might do one more episode in each of the sections. I go back, revisit Rivendell, Mordor, and Hobbiton, and just add some finishing touches and stuff. I think that'd be a good way to round out the series. And a good way just to make sure everything's nice and highly detailed. So we're working on the main front section for Helm's Deep. Uh, this is going to be where the main coaster is housed. I actually went and recorded and built a coaster and then went and deleted the coaster, deleted the recording, and redid it. So you'll see that later. <laughs> just because I think uh, the second version came out quite a bit better. So we have the long wall over here where the majority of the battle takes place. And then we have the center castle part right there uh, with the kind of the curved path going down. And then with the coaster bay kind of held up. Uh, where the um, the sort of the cave was not really the cave but the back of Helm's Deep where the uh, the women and children took shelter during the Battle of Helm's Deep so that was the main plan just going up here and wrapping the mountain around because it is kind of tucked away into the edge of a mountain it's a very defendable position so it's tucked away in the back just kind of with a mountain on one side yeah and then just building it back uh, there is this weird tower thing back here that I had some trouble getting it to look very good like the scale was just a little bit off uh, so we do quite a bit of tinkering with this tower some tower tinkering today we're trying some tower tinkering on Tuesday okay I'm gonna stop with all the T's I just like alliteration you guys know that even though today's Wednesday right yeah it was Tuesday oh and I recorded this it was Tuesday so technically that's correct oh it is Wednesday oh sweet I'm excited we're going to the dog beach today very excited about that I love the dog beach it's my happy place Anyway, what are we doing Planet Coaster? <laughs> I think I say that in every episode now, where I start rambling about some random, uh, like, topic, and then I say, wait, what are we doing? Oh yeah, Planet Coaster, so. I do apologize for my rambling. Did not mean it. So again, just moving this thing around, just trying to find a good height and scale for it. And eventually I think we got something alright looking. Yeah, that came out alright. Once we get the rest of the castle built up, it looks pretty decent. This should be the highest point in the castle. Is it really a castle? I guess technically we call it the Helm's Deep Castle. Not really a traditional looking castle, but it's a large stone building, I guess, with big stone walls, whatever. Uh, we're taking these things, kind of wrapping them around here, just give a little bit more depth to it. And these actually are, I like these objects, and it's cool how you can sink them into that and kind of get rid of that uh, slanted piece, because you don't always want that slanted piece. And there are some objects that could be used for this, but I don't know. Again. One of the best things about this game is finding new uses for objects that you haven't previously used in that way. Like these, I would I haven't used them as like a solid line like that before, but now that we do, they look pretty cool. Look all right looking. And then we flip one over, put it on the top, and it adds a nice little visual interest to the tower. I'm like, okay, that looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. 
There we go. Uh, that thing, we're going to end up moving it back and forth a lot just because it takes up a lot of space and we're trying to find a good position for it within the castle and in conjunction with the actual coast we're going to build. But there, it's starting to come together. We have a castle looking design. Things are starting to come together. Mmm. Mmm. More cran raspberry juice. I do love it. Yeah, so we move it there. We fill in the gap, and then I'm pretty sure I end up moving it once more. <laughs> oh well. Life goes on. And over here, we're building uh, the higher center castle piece. Uh, this is going to house. Well, the, it's going to have the coaster bay up on top. So this is basically going to house the stairwell up to the coaster bay. And we do just like a spiral staircase up it. Nothing too fancy schmancy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know about you guys, but I have a sudden urge to go watch uh, Lord of the Rings again. Extended edition, of course. They're each like four hours long, but they're fantastic. I haven't seen them in... I guess it's probably been like two, three or four years? Two to four years? Somewhere in there. I'm trying to remember exactly the last time I watched them, but it has been a while. Yeah. Again, just building up uh, the mountain there. There's a weird chunk on top there. We're going to push it down finally. I was like, okay, you're not going to just leave that there. I see it up. That looks stupid. Doing a lot of rough terrain, painting it a bit. Because it's not a lot of grass here. It tends to, it's, it's a lot in the higher mountain region. So it's a lot more dirt and stuff. And I wish, again, we had a dirt tool. That'd be great. Just brown dirt instead of this black dirt. Because this makes everything look like, look like rocks. And we don't want that. So I tried to mix in some of the sand into the area there. And it worked a little bit. Nothing uh, too bad. Nothing too good. Uh, I'd say it's right in the middle. I did like how that came out of the kind of the arch archways we have there, so that looks good on the bottom and the top. And then this thing, I didn't like how flat it was, so I tried adding uh, just some different things here, just give it a little bit of an interest, interesting look. And it came out all right looking. It's a little, a little bit different than usual, but not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Ooh, I should really put some of the battlements up there. That might look good. I'll go do that later, not right now, at some point, presumably. And some windows, and some uh, vertical pieces. I don't know. Barricades? Not uh, barricades. What are they? Um, supports? I, I'm just gonna call them supports. Let's go with that. There you go. Trying to find a nice little piece to put up on the top here to kind of cap it off, and realize, all right, that looks all right. We'll use that guy. No big deal. NBD, as the kids say. I'm gonna fill in the roof there. Fill it on the inside. So again, that's where the stairs are gonna come up into the coaster. We get to that eventually, at some point. And then over here, of course, we gotta have the little stream going through. Classic uh, part of the castle, part of the movie, part of the... I don't know, you guys remember that's where the uh, the orc runs in and blows up? Well, I will add some like metal beams in there to kind of uh, make it look like the grate. Because that is the one weak point of Helm's Deep. Which you think they would have like protected it a little bit more. Because they say, hey, we got this big giant wall. Oh, there's a little small opening right there. Maybe we should uh, cover that up. It's like a Death Star. It's like, no, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Like, I know that it's... I know that it was like supplying water, so it's necessary. You don't want to cover it completely, but I feel like they could have done a little bit more to protect it. Like, at least, like, build stuff around it. Like, they had time, right? It wasn't like a surprise attack. I don't know. I, I, guess, I, guess, I guess I shouldn't hold them at complete fault <laughs> uh what am i talking about now i'm analyzing the uh the tactics of the uh what are they i guess they're just the men gondor gondorians because isn't this whole place gondor i don't remember man see it's been a long time since i watched the movies all right over here i tried some different things so i had the path going up along the castle wall because i thought i was gonna have the coaster base somewhere else but we decided to scratch that we're actually gonna have the coaster run here so here's my second attempt at the coaster where it had it planted up there this is the anubis coaster so uh, this one, it's not capable of inversions. That's okay, I don't really want any crazy inversions on this ride. Uh, this is a bit more of a long, sweeping coaster. There are some big turns and stuff, and like big figure eights, uh, but nothing too crazy. Oops, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I, had a, well, I accidentally uh, muted my mic. My bad. Uh, what, a real professional over here, seat top. Yeah, whatever. You know, if, if this was like a recording where I was doing editing and stuff, I could edit it out. But since this is post commentary, it'd be really hard to edit it out. So, whatever. You guys are just gonna be left with that. 
I still don't love post commentary. I know some people have called me out like, hey, you ramble too much or blah, 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 or something like that. But it's weird because when you go from um, reactionary content, which is mostly what I do when I play a game and I react to things in front of me, from that to this, which is post commentary, where I'm just supposed to ramble on for like 12 or 13 minutes at a time about what I'm seeing. It's it's tough. It's a interesting change. I don't think I'll ever get too good at it. I'm much better at the reaction based content, but oh well. So we have a big hill to start, and then I wanted this cool figure eight thing. Because that's technically not inversion, because I don't think you actually go upside down, so that was the main idea there. And then we go up and around the castle, and this one I tried to, to listen to a lot of advice that you guys have left me. Uh, the biggest advice people have told me, some of the best advice, is just about maintaining speed. So, you when you basically after the big hill, you want to lose speed and gain the speed back, then lose speed and gain the speed back, or gain speed and lose the speed. So you want to try and maintain that speed. So I was trying to keep that in mind as we're doing this, kind of building equilibrium in the coaster, to where there was no wasted energy. Because I imagine that's how they build coasters in real life, just they want them to be very efficient. And so that's the whole point. You just use that initial push down the hill, or I guess drop down the hill, the potential energy of the hill drop to uh, continue around the entire coaster. Yeah, Didn't quite make it there. That loop was a little bit too big, so we're going to tear that out. We're going to do this uh, smaller kickback. I don't really, really know what it's called. And just have it meet back up there. And it should be able to go all the way up, making its way down. Okay, where's it, where'd, it, where'd it go? There it goes. Okay. And it should be able to make it all the way up. There we go. Nailed it. Good job. So that's basically it uh, for this guy. I'm just doing some smoothing. Smoothing all the turns, smoothing all the banks, trying to make it look a little nice. So I think this one's pretty cool looking. It looks like a real coaster with that big lift hill. I think it's pretty cool looking. I'm enjoying it. If you guys enjoy it too, make sure you hit the like button. It sounds superficial, but it does make me feel good. No, I always say that. <laughs> it does actually let me know. Because uh, views can be affected by a lot of things, but viewer engagement based off of the like button is super important because it tells me whether or not people indeed want to see more. Like, some people may watch a video and not want to see more. Oh, there was that weird term right there. I don't know why. I don't know if it's that, but again, likes are the best way of letting me know because that's how I engage people's interest in the series is based off of likes. Because views can be like a fluke thing where it just got uh, some initial interest because it was a new game, but then the interest kind of died out. So. Eh, that's why I tend to tell people that. Only if you enjoy it. Don't like it if you don't enjoy it. That's going to be this episode of Planet Coast, you guys. Definitely let me know what you thought. We'll continue to work next episode. I'll see you next time. And bye.